Hey guys, Sir Max here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on part three of the Southern Farm Estate build. Um, in this part of the video, we are going to be focusing exclusively, um, well, I guess we're putting up a couple paintings in the um, kitchen right now, but I'm pretty sure for the majority of this build, we are going, or for the majority of this part of this video, we're going to be focusing on the upstairs. Uh, so, uh, how have you guys been? I know, um, so it hasn't been as, I, I guess, the, sorry if you guys can hear something downstairs, my mom's like, um, I don't know, putting away dishes or something. Um, but I guess, so how have you guys been? The time between this video and the last video wasn't as bad as the time between the second part and the first part. But, um, I know I'm, I'm really bad about uploading videos and, like, being regular about uploading videos. Super duper sorry. You know, I won't, like, I have no more excuses. But, like, you know, I'm gonna try to be, like, way more regular about opening, about just, like, doing videos and things like that. Um, but again, I'm super duper sorry. So, uh, as I said, this video is focusing pretty much exclusively on the upstairs of the build. This video is 44 minutes long, so brace yourselves. Again, I'm super sorry. I'm a super slow builder. This is sped up eight times speed, and still it's like 44 minutes long, and this is the third part, so it's ridiculous. I know. I'm gonna try to be a lot faster. I mean, I feel like the more you build, the faster you are, if that makes any sense. It doesn't, but, you know, it kind of does. So, um, I guess I should probably talk about a little bit about like um, some upcoming things I have for the channel. So I definitely want to, you know, upload more speed builds. Probably not stuff as ambitious as this because this took me super long and it's in three parts and Oiga Vault, it's so much. But um, I have a plan for a Let's Build. Um, so I'll start with that. I have a plan for a Let's Build and a Let's Play. And so I, I want to do a uh, university Let's Build let's build, if that makes any sense. So what I think I'm going to do is, so I've seen let's builds done different ways. Um, James Turner used to do them a lot with The Sims 3, and he would build in real time. I'm pretty sure you guys do not want to see me build in real time because I'm literally the most frustrating person to watch build, especially because I go so slow. But, um, but anyways, I'm, what, and what I'm planning on doing is I think I'm going to do let's build a university. So... I am think I'm think I'm going to demolish all the lots in Willow Creek and you know build on each one of those lots a key part of the university. So I want to have like a library, like a maybe like a medical school, maybe a law although a law school would be hard to differentiate from just like a regular school. So maybe just like a regular school, I want to do like a sorority row, maybe like have a couple like a cafeteria and what I want to do because like I love old architecture, so I want to have like exclusively older like looking buildings, and like this is especially like sentimental to me because I'll be going off to college in a year, so I will have to. Um, it's something I have to you know start getting ready for. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the channel in college because like I'm gonna have a roommate and he probably won't want me recording. I guess I can record when um, he's not there, but like also like so. I know this is like a taboo in the gaming world, but like I play The Sims on a Mac, so I have a Mac, so I have a Mac desktop and I have a Mac laptop. I play The Sims and record all my videos on the desktop, which is it's like a huge, it's a huge desktop, and I want to, I, I kind of really want to bring it to college, just because like it'll be really, it's it's I don't know, it'll be really because it's a really powerful computer. I got it in eighth grade, so like four years ago, and it still runs really well. Um, it's like the, I, it's like, it was the, it was brand new in, 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 in whatever year it was. Four years ago, it was 2000, 2013, yeah. So, for, it runs like, like I bought it in 2013. So, yeah. But anyway, so back, getting back to the university challenge. I want to do each individual video doing one part of universities, like one lot. Maybe for like the bigger parts, like if I want to do a really grand library, I'll probably split that into two parts, even though I really don't like doing that, but it's, I probably will. But um, I want to do like speed builds, except it'll be for one overarching thing, which is the university. So, I mean, not that many people, actually, okay, so this is like fan fanboying right now. Someone commented on one of my videos, um, I don't remember his name, but he was actually another gamer in the community and he like really said some nice things about my video and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. So I went and checked out his channel, so shout out to him. He's like, it's the only comment on the part, 
either part one or part two. So just check out his channel. I don't remember it. I'm super sorry. That's like, ugh, super asshole of me. Sorry. But, um, but yeah, so, um, that was one comment on my video. I know a lot of people don't really comment on my videos, but that's okay. So I guess I'll just have to make all the executive decisions for my videos by myself, which is, it's alright. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, so I think I'm definitely going to do the university thing. Um, I also am thinking about doing my own version of a legacy challenge. So I've read online about the legacy challenge, and I really don't like how it, uh, like, the rules of it. Like, I, I feel like a legacy challenge is kind of just like a glorified rags to riches, if you kind of get what I mean. So I was reading about it, and, like, you, you're supposed to, like, start with a big plot of land, and you're supposed to, like, strip this sim of, like, all their stuff, and, like, that one sim is the founder. But, like, I don't know, that just doesn't really seem fun to me. If I'm going to do a Let's Play, I like doing, like, kind of the machinima-esque Let's Play with, like, you know, like, uh, what, what's it, oh, what am I, drama and, like, deaths and shit like that. So I think, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Dynasty Let's, or, like, Dynasty Challenge, if that makes any sense. So what I, I so I, I picked five historical families that ruled Europe to be the five main families in the focus of my Let's Play. So I picked the Bourbons, which were the ruling family of France. I picked the Habsburgs, who ruled over the uh, Holy Roman Empire, so Austria and Germany. I picked the Windsors, who are, they're currently the ruling family of England. I picked the, oh, hold on, I have it. Hold on, let me just see if I can look at it. Okay, so I, I picked the Romanovs. They are the well, they were the ruling family of Russia. And then I picked the Medicis, who weren't technically a ruling family, but when Venice was big and, like, during the Renaissance, when it was in its heyday, the Medicis often held powers of, like, po positions of power. So they were often the Doge, who was the ruler of, Italy, of, of Venice at the time. Or, no, shit. I'm sorry. The Doge was the ruler of Venice, but the Medicis are a Florence, Florence, Florence and whatever. They're a family from Florence. So they, they often held, but still, they often held positions of power. I'm pretty sure one of the, one of, a doge was a Medici. Um, they were a very powerful banking family. They, a, there are a bunch of popes that were Medicis. Um, they were, so, yeah, I definitely want to do, I'm, I'm including the Medici family, just to kind of have, like, a, a broad range of cultures. You have the French, the English, the Russians, the Germans, the Germans slash Austrians, and the Italians. So, yeah, there you go. And so what I'm going to do is each episode is going to focus on a different family. So for like the first episode, we'll probably focus on like the Bourbons. And e and so basically, oh, I, gotta, I, I still haven't figured out the logistics of this, but I basically just want to do it like a let's play where these five families are like battling out for power. I haven't decided if I'm going to give each family its own world. So like respectively, each family would have its own world. Probably that way, just because I want each family to live in this like house and like a huge ass mansion house or like a castle or palace which I'll find off the gallery most likely just because I really don't have time to be building five different palaces for five different families. I wish I did but I do not. And also there's some really awesome creations on the gallery that are just like super great and like I wish I could and it'd be it's fun to showcase them. If any of you want to build something for the Let's Play you can do hashtag Sir Max yeah, you can do hashtag, you can just do a build and do hashtag Sir Max. Um, I don't really, I don't expect any of you to do that, but if you want to, please feel free, and I'll definitely check out your build and maybe use it in the Let's Play. So, yeah, I want to play each of these families, you know, being in the, um, being in the Let's Play, and, like, of course, so what I'm thinking is, like, each episode, I'll switch control of each family. So I'm, so I'm, or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just kind of play it and see as it, as it goes, and, like, Maybe if it's like a if it's a twenty five minute episode, I'll I'll like break it up five minutes per family. I haven't decided it yet, but anyway. So I just want to have these like five families vying for control of this like town. I guess you could call it like we can pretend that it's Europe, but it's really not. If that makes any sense. And like I I what I like to do is I I tend to, but I'm okay. So I I, I think I've made up my mind right now. I'm just going to have each family have its own town, but there's still going to be, 
like vying for power, if that makes any sense. So like these, all these families hate each other, except one thing that I thought was really interesting is I'm going to have all the families marry into each other. So like they'll all be related. And like, yeah. So, mm-hmm. If that makes any sense. So, like, the head, so the first, the founding member of, like, House Habsburg, or House of Habsburg, sorry, I get Game of Thrones and, like, mixed up. Because, like, in Game of Thrones, they say, like, House Lannister, or House Stark, but in European history, they always said House of Habsburg, or House of Lannister, or House of Windsor, not House Lannister, if that makes sense. So, um, I'm gonna have, like, the head of House of Habsburg marry, like, a Bourbon like a Bourbon sister, if that makes any sense, which is kind of like how it was in, in European history, is like there were, the families were so intermarried. Like at the time of World War I, the, the Russian Tsar, the Kaiser, Kaiser Wilhelm II, I think pretty sure it's Kaiser Wilhelm II, and the King of England were all related. They were cousins. So um, yeah, so it's like, you know, history, way to go. Um, yeah, so uh, for for so I live in America, so Thanksgiving is coming up. Um, in fact, so it's the day I'm recording this. It's Tuesday. The let me just check my phone. It's Tuesday, the twenty second. So Thanksgiving is in two days for me. It's on a Thursday. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't celebrate Thanksgiving in other countries. It's just an American thing. But um, it's still, I don't know, it's still really cool to know about other cultures. Like, um, my sister had a French exchange student come in, and he stayed with us for, like, a week and a half. And it was really interesting hearing, like, all about, like, Carnival and, like, the and Mardi Gras and things that they... And I still really did not figure out what the difference between Carnival and Mardi Gras was. But he talked to us about, like, how they don't really have Halloween, how they're, like, Carnival is Halloween. Excuse me for a minute. I'm just going to take a sip of water. My mouth's getting kind of dry. <sighs> But yeah, so it's, um, so I, uh, today was, so we had a two day week of school, which was really awesome. So, um, like, uh, oh, and I'll like, I'll have a story for you after I tell you. So, um, yeah, we had a two day week of school. So we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off to celebrate Thanksgiving. So it's a long weekend. Even though we have a long weekend, I have a shit ton of homework that I have to get done, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Um, I have to do a Spanish project on Ava Perón because it's a revolutionary project and she was a revolutionary, I guess, sort of, kind of, sort of. And I have to do a European, a AP European, so I, I, for, so my revolutionary project is for AP Spanish. I have to do a, like, country thing, country project for AP Euro. For Myth in the Modern World, which is one of the English courses I'm taking, so it's like a half year course, I have to do a project that compares like the story that we read and this like article, it's super boring. And then I also have to do some outlining for AP government and politics. Yay! I'm like super excited to do it. Ugh, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. I'll be in college soon, and then I won't ever have to deal with my high school or the people in it. Yay! And, like, uh, I say that, like, I'm, like, a shut and I don't like people in my high school, which isn't true. I like the people in my high school. But, like, sometimes I was talking to one of my good friends about this. It's, like, people are so extra. And if you are not familiar with the term, in America, the term extra is used to describe someone who just does stuff, movements, is just extra. I guess if that makes any sense. It's just, like, they are so extra. They, they just, it's, their movements are extra. Everything about them is extra. For example, there's this kid in my Myth in the Modern World class that, you know, instead of, like, wearing a, a jacket or a scarf or a sweater or sweatshirt to school to, like, keep warm, he brought in a, I'm sorry, that was a bad word. He brought in a blanket. Like, he brought in a blanket that you could get at any store, and he just kind of wore it around his, like, body. And I was like, w why? Okay. The, it, ugh. Mm. Ugh, whatever. Just can't get stirred up about it. So, uh, oh yeah, as I was saying, so on Monday we had like a really big snowstorm. I live in upstate New York, so that's like right near Lake Ontario, and we get like a lot of lake effect snow. So we had kind of like a big snowstorm that, um, like I'm talking, there was no snow, and then the next day there was like maybe half a foot to a foot of snow. Like it was bad. And 
every school district in the area closed except for Brighton. Brighton is the school district I go to. I was so angry. Like, you have no idea. Well, you probably do have an idea, but, like, the school, like, the school district right next to, like, next to us closed, the one next to that closed, everybody closed and had a snow day, except for Brighton. And even, there's this private school that's in Brighton, it's, like, 15 minutes away, or not even, like, 5 minutes away from our school, they closed, too. Everyone was really upset about it. It was just, like, really, it was, and, and if you want, you want to know something that, like, one, so, for the, so, Pittsford School District, that's the town next to my town, Brighton. And so in eighth grade, the eighth graders go to New York City. If you take Spanish, like that's the trip that they can take. The bus that they were riding in flipped over because of the weather. That's how bad it was. And it wasn't just like a school bus. It was like a coach bus that like a Greyhound or something. It flipped over. That's how bad the weather was. And we still had school. So it was, it was bonkers. <laughs> it was literally ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I digress. So, um, I guess I should probably talk about the build. It's literally this whole time I have not been talking about the build. Um, so I just furnished another bedroom. I furnished, like, the foyer outside of the bedroom. Right now we're focusing on this bedroom. I don't know. If th I don't, I, this might even be the master bedroom. I, I don't, I know. I don't know. I think the bedroom... Yeah, the bedroom next door to it with the double doors, that's the master bedroom. And that really long corridor thing right there next to that bathroom is, or next to that bedroom is the bathroom for this bedroom. Oh, and I was really good about it. I um, made sure to add curtains to every single window because I just, I always forget curtains and like that's a realistic part of a house. I feel like most houses have curtains. So yeah, um, I'm really kind of, I mean, I feel like I shouldn't say this, but I'm kind of... I'm kind of, like, happy to be done with this, like, speed build so we can, like, move on to something new. Because, like, as much as I really enjoyed, like, doing this, like, southern style build, I'm, like, getting really bored of it. Because, like, I've been voicing over for three separate parts and, like, a lot of the furnishing is really consistent, which I like too. Which, I mean, like, I'm, that's pretty good that I made it all consistent, but it's super boring and monotonous after a while. So I'm happy that we're going... We're getting on to something new. I put an easel in this bedroom because I thought maybe, oh, maybe this person's artsy. Um, just something to really fill up space, to be honest. Um, so maybe, yeah, so, so, um, let me, so I'm really, ugh, I am lost for words. Uh, so last night, my mom invited a couple of her friends over and we had this like friends giving thing. Cause so if you guys don't know, my parents are divorced. So I live with my mom, but m the majority of my family, like all my family is on my dad's side who lives in Rochester. That's the town I live in or the city I live in. I live in the town of Brighton, which is like a suburb of Rochester. So all the family that I have that I usually celebrate the holidays with, are who are located in Rochester. My mom's family are located in Wisconsin and Atlanta. So it so we we are gonna have celebrate Thanksgiving with my dad's family. So we my mom wanted to celebrate Thanksgiving with us because like I understand it's like a lot to you know not celebrate Thanksgiving with your kids because it's like it's we're, it's really where this is an adapt we're all we're all like adapting to this process. My sister is you know it's harder for her to adapt, but I understand that. But Anyways, so we had, like, a friend's Thanksgiving, and um, my mom's friends came over, and, like, my, my mom's friends are great. They're super nice. My sister doesn't think so, but, you know, who cares what she thinks? So um, I got, like, really drunk off champagne because we opened, like, three separate bottles, and um, it was, like, super fun, and, like, I wasn't even really that hungover in the morning. I still had to go to school, but... Um, it was still kind of, it was, it was super fun. And like the food wasn't that great because, um, I don't know, like it was a really kind of last minute. My mom got home late from work. So she had to like, you know, put things together, but whatever. It's, it was, it was really fun and I really enjoyed it and I think we should do it again. So yeah. But now, um, the tom no, not tomorrow. On Thursday, I'm going over to my cousin's house so I think she's my second cousin. So she's the daughter of my grandpa's sister. If that, yeah. She's the daughter, so she's my dad's first cousin. So I think that makes her my second cousin or my f first cousin once, twice, or once removed. And then I, honestly, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know that, like, the whole... I watched a video on it once. There's this really um, great guy on YouTube called CGP Grey, and he does, like, a really good job of, like, explaining uh, bizarre topics. But I, like, I watched it once, and I just don't remember what um, what he said about, you know, what cousins are called. I'm going to take another drink of water. Ah, sorry about that, guys. It's really professional. Drinking water. Um, so, yeah. We're, right now we're doing one of the hall bathrooms. I think there's only two bathrooms on this floor. You know, for such, like, a big house, there's not that many bathrooms. But that was because, like, the layout of the upstairs is really awkward. Like, it was... I'm really bad at layouts. Like, it's either I do, like, box, 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 or it's just all, like, weird shapes and, like, hallways and things like that. And, um... If you guys, I once built this house, I called it Lancaster, pa Lan Lancaster Palace, and it's on the gallery if you want to see it. My, the, my origin ID is Sir Max Sims, um, but, so it was called Lancaster Palace, and w so it was shaped like a, it was a square palace. It was supposed to be, like, Edwardian and Georgian architecture themed, so it's a square palace, and it has hallway that goes all the way around it but it was a really weird layout that's what I'm trying to get at is that like there was a lot of different hallways and stuff like that oh this tree really bothered me because like I was like oh it's in my way what am I supposed to do um I we this is really weird we only have like two more rooms to furnish but there's still like 20 minutes left in this video which I don't really understand but eh whatever so I could talk to you guys more um, I really wish some of you, more of you guys would, like, comment on my videos. It feels, like, so great when people comment. Like, I feel like, oh, I, I touched someone. Ah. <laughs> like, I mean, I didn't really, like, touch you. Like, I, I didn't really make an impact when you, like, probably watch this video and you're like, wow, this kid is, like, really obsessed, obsessed with himself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I like, I like it when you guys comment on my videos because I'm like, wow, someone cares enough to comment on this video. Oh, I really enjoyed it the color scheme of this bedroom. It was like blue and I think like lighter wood, which I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, I, I like lighter, well, okay, that's a lie. My favorite color is black. The colors of my room are black, white, and gray. Um, maybe, so I really wanna build my, so I built my house on The Sims 3 before, like this is before I had my channel. And, um, but I really wanna build my house on The Sims 3. So that, that might be the next few build I do. And, you know, in between the uh, university and the dynasty challenge. Um, but yeah, so uh, I still gotta like think about how I'm gonna do the dynasty challenge. Like, cause the best let's plays have like some, you know, art overarching thing. And I'm probably just gonna have to like invent a lot of scandal, like people stealing people's boyfriends and things like that. But the main part of the dynasty challenge is I wanna have at least 10 generations of each of these families. Yeah, if that makes sense. And so one thing, one I, one aspect I kind of want to incorporate is that one one big issue in the, you know, when these families ruled is that they always needed to have an heir to pass on, like, the crown to. And they, if they didn't, they would, like, like, if they didn't, they, if it was, because, like, this is, like, this was a time when before girls could inherit the throne, or, like, girls, women could inherit the throne, so if they didn't have, like, for example, before the Bourbons ruled France, the Valois family ruled France, and the, so there were, there were four, uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but the, I'm pretty sure there were four children of the king, and the first child, they were, there were three boys and one girl, girl was the young well I don't even know if the girl was the youngest she might have even been the oldest but she was passed up because but so each of her brothers inherited the throne because the previous one died but then when the last brother died she couldn't inherit the throne so what the Valois had to do is they had to give they had to they they literally just handed over the throne to the Bourbon family who married the princess the daughter her name was um princess Margot or Margaret I think it's Margot and yeah, there's a whole lot of llama drama. There's like yeah, there's a lot of llama drama with um the wedding of Princess Margot and uh, Henry Bourbon. But uh, I won't bore you with that. But um yeah, 
If, I mean, if, if that's something you guys like, like, if you guys like, because, like, I love history, so I can give you, like, little, like, you know, histories. Well, one cool thing that I could do is, like, with the Dynasty Challenge is, like, I could give a little tidbit of history, every, like, each video, like, this is a fun fact about the Bourbons, this is a fun fact about the Medici's, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that, that seems like something I could do and something I'd enjoy. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, it's, like, one thing that these royal families did, if they didn't have a male heir, they would have to give their crown to the, like, to, to another family. So one thing that I think I can incorporate is if the, like, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm, so I'm going to have the, the mom and the dad of the family have their children, and I'm going, so I like to edit my Sims, so, like, if I'm playing the Sims and, like, the mom and dad have a child, I like to edit them and cast that I, so that they can look exactly like what I want them to look like. But one thing I'm not going to do is if they have all girls, I'm not going to change their, their, like, the sex of the child. Because I want it to stick true to the, like, nature. Like, to then, to, like, you know, get the story going. So what I'm going to do is if there's a girl and they, you know, they don't have a male heir, then they're going to have to marry their daughter off to, like, another, like, a male of another family. And if, like, so let's say, let's say, for example, if the, like, Bourbons only have girls for one generation, and they marry one of, they marry their girl who was going, their eldest daughter who was going to inherit the throne to, like, the Habsburg, then the Habsburgs now have that throne. And that's how people, that's how they get the power. Or they could just kill them. I feel like, I feel like this Let's Play is going to have a lot of death in it. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Oh, I remember, so Deligracy did this challenge called, like, the Gold Digger Challenge, and I don't know why she stopped it. I, I never really, she never really gave a clear answer on that. I just, I, I think she just really didn't, wasn't enjoying the Let's Play anymore. But, so she did this Gold Digger Let's, cha Let's Play Challenge where she had this one woman, and she, so she put a bunch of rich people in the town of Willow Creek and like all the other towns and for her to gold dig so she had to woo them and then kill them and she said that like each death was gonna be like a new death like a new type of death in The Sims 4 which is something that I could really that could be interesting so like you could have like death by electrocution or like something oh sorry I just took another sip of water my mouth is like really dry from talking this much and that, like, I always, like, so I'm, I think it might be Simified or Simtastic Builder, who, like, he drinks water during his, um, during, like, during his whatever, his speed build, and I was always like, oh, well, your mouth probably doesn't get that dry talking for, like, a half an hour to 45 minutes, and I'm like, but, like, now that I do it, it's like, wow, this is, like, a lot. Sorry if you have something I'm fiddling around. Um, so this is the master bedroom. Um, it's the, you know, the last bedroom that we have to furnish. I think after this we do the bathroom and then probably just add some finishing touches around the house and then I'll go into the screenshots. Um, so the master bedroom also has that light wood feel going on. It's very fancy. This whole house I feel like is very fancy and very like... I don't know, I would say very southern aristocratic. I just watched, so literally just before we talked, before I set out to record this, I watched The Help, which is, like, one of my all-time favorite movies. Like, I, while I was watching this, I was, like, crying. It was so, like, that movie is so good, and it's so sad. And, like, I love, I love, like, the message that's sent in that movie. Because, like, you know, being gay, it's, like, I, I kind of relate with the struggle that, like, African Americans felt during the 60s and, like, even before then with slavery. So, like, you know, watching that really gave me, but, like, I took a lot of inspiration for, like, this southern build from those, like, sort of plantation houses that they have in, like, Jackson, Mississippi, because, like, they don't really have, they do, like, we have, like, plan, like plantation-style houses up in the north, but they're not authentic, like, they're a recreation. Someone else is trying to make it look like they did that, if that makes any sense. Yeah, like, they, like, it's not authentic. Yeah, so. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is, so this is one thing that I think I learned from James Turner, Deligracy, is that, like, you can break up, like, if a bedroom is really big and you want to have a seating area, you can break it up with a half wall. Um, sometimes you can do an even bigger wall and, like, turn the bed around, and though that's more, that's kind of more modern. I feel like this was a little bit more, like, appropriate for the house. Like, what would you say? I th so I think this style, so I, 
I know it's a plantation style house, but I don't know, it, is, it, is it colonial? Or is it more like, it's not Victorian, but I feel like, yeah, no, it's definitely colonial. I'm not a student of architecture, so I, I like to pretend that I know a lot about architecture, but I know not that much. Um, oh yeah, later we, so we do have to like do, so, oh yeah, one thing I have to mention about this. So for the guest house in the back, I, so I stopped recording, you know, the furnishing of the house after I did the, um, like, yeah, so I stopped recording for the house, and then I was like, oh shit, I have to do the guest bed, the guest house. And then while I'm doing the guest house, I'm like, oh my god, crap, I did not record the guest house, so I was just like, ugh, what am I gonna do? So I just took screenshots of it, or maybe I did record the building of the guest house, and I didn't take, oh, you know, no, that's it. I think I recorded the building of the guest house, or like the furnishing of the guest house, but I didn't get screenshots of it, because by the time I had already done, I I'd done screenshots for it, so I... Yeah, no, that's what happened. So I had done my screenshots, and I was just lazy, so I didn't feel like doing it again. I realized I just put the same picture with the same fireplace in the other room, but you can't tell because there's a freaking wall there, so whatever. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just looking looking around, trying to figure out what to put in there. Um, I really like to clutter up my rooms with just, like, I don't know, just, like, random objects, because, like, I feel, I'm just checking, oh, that's floating, so I just push it down into the that little thing. I really like how that had, I, I think it has a mirror on top of it, which is awesome. Oh, I don't know if I, I, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but I got all the Sims expansion packs I didn't have. I have every single one now except for kids, life, or room stuff. I was just like, this is so not necessary. I'm never going to use this. I really don't play with kids stuff. I don't like kids stuff. So maybe I'll get it if like, I don't know, if I have like some money I want to spend and I haven't decided to spend on anything else, but I'm um, probably not. Well, I really love the subway tile look of this bathroom. I, um, so I have subway tiles in my, um, in my shower, and they're, like, super hard to keep clean, but when they are clean, they look so good. Like, oh, hold on, let me just take another sip of water. I don't know why my mouth is so dry. Um, but yeah, those, like, subway tiles, they look so good when they're clean. But when they get dirty, it looks disgusting. I guess that's the same, kind of the thing with everything. But, like, I guess I feel like some walls are, if they're dirty, you can't tell as much as it, of other walls, if that makes sense. It kind of does to me. Um, but, yeah, this bathroom was pretty simple. Um, I never really know what to put in bathrooms. Like, I feel like there's not much you can put in a bathroom. Um, I think I put in the shower, like, tub combination, too. So, I guess technically this bathroom has two bathrooms two bathtubs, but I just didn't really feel like any of the other showers were appropriate for the style of the house. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think the, the, we're almost, we're, we're, so, we're not really nearing the end of the video. We still have at least 10 minutes, but, um, we're nearing the end of, like, the main house. I think we just focus on the um, guest house. The guest house is really simple. Um, it's a, it looks really small, but it's a lot bigger than I thought it was because like in the inside it took me like I was like, what do I put in here? It's a one bedroom guest house. Um, if you, I feel like that's realistic. If you're staying with someone, you don't really need two bedrooms. Um, like this is a, wait, so this house has one, this house has four bedrooms upstairs. So I feel like unless you have four kids or like you have more kids and they like, okay, well, unless you fill up every bedroom, I feel like one of these bedrooms would definitely be used as, like, a spare. Um, so yeah, at this point, I'm just, like, looking around, seeing what I do, seeing what I missed. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to put here, so I think I just put a couple benches and, like, a umbrella. Um, but yeah, so I, so I guess I should ask you guys, if you're from America, or if you're, you know, in another country and you're celebrating Thanksgiving, like, well, or to each his own, like, what do you guys do for Thanksgiving? I don't know whenever really comments, but um, if you want to comment, go ahead. I don't bite. And I will really make an effort to respond to every single comment if you guys comment. Because, like, I, I, oh shit, I just, like, dragged some, something along, oh, fuck. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. So I, I, so I have a candle in my room, and, um, I think it got some, like, some of the, some of the ash got on my desk, and I didn't know what it was, so I dragged it onto the, like, on the desk, and now it's all over, so 
Excuse me while I just use the sock that I found to clean up my desk. Ugh. But anyways, yeah, so like, what do you guys do for Thanksgiving? I just cleaned it up. We're, we're, we're good. You can't really tell. But yeah, um, I just put this table here. That table actually does not look bad sized up. I Sometimes I thought it would, but it actually looks pretty good. So yeah, um, I don't know why I, I put that thing under there like I thought I needed to, but uh, whatever. Um, I think I'm just putting a light out here just so you can see, like, if you got here to talk. Like, I feel like if you're having, like, some issues and got here to talk, I think I put a table out here. I feel like the deck was very sparse even with the table, so I was like, oh, I'm not entirely sure what to do. But, um, I tried to make it green to match the awnings, but the green color is just so off, it's literally ridiculous. But whatever. Um, yeah, no, I, I just think I just put a couple benches out here. There's really, there wasn't really much that I could think to put out here. I think I put a plant out here, if I'm not wrong. Um, yep, yeah, no, I definitely put a plant out here. I think I put, like, the fern. Um, but yeah, we're nearing, yep, there it is. So we're nearing, the, I didn't really know what else to put up here. Um, I would love to, oh, and I, I put two planter boxes up here, because I feel like, it, um, I don't know, this seems like a really appropriate, like, place to do your, your, like, gardening because like you're up on the roof so you get plenty of sun although is there oh wait no i think there's like an awning over there so you wouldn't get that plenty of sun so actually oh wait no there's not never mind so yeah you definitely would get plenty of sun for some reason i take screenshots during like a weird time like i always take them at like the dot like oh shit i'm sorry um i just got a text from my grandma Sorry, I should have put that on silent. For those of you who don't know, that um, noise that just came from my phone is the, um, it's from Bewitched, which is like an old TV show from the, like, 60s and 70s about a witch, and, like, she married, like, a mortal. So when she casts a spell, she, like, twitches her nose, and that sound goes. It's like, -na -na -na. I don't uh, I'm such a nerd. I really am. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, so right now we're focusing on the guest house, so I was right, yeah, I got the footage recording the guest house, but I don't have any screenshots of the guest house. It's really not that great, so you're not really missing out on anything. It's basically just like a mini version of the main house. Um, yeah, I think I just, there, yeah, it's, it's, there's like a kitchen, there's a small living room, there's a bathroom. Oh, and the, I thought the bathroom thing was really cool, because there's like two entrances, kind of like Carrie Bradshaw's apartment, where she has like two entrances to her bathroom and that I thought was really cool how I use like the circle. Hold on, I'm gonna take a sip of water again. I'm really sorry. Ah, sorry about that. I'm like, I feel like that's so unprofessional. But um, I, yeah, do I, I don't know if I go with the blue color scheme or if I, I think I do. Just because I thought it was easy and kind of bland and it went with like, oh, uh, no it doesn't really, well it does kind of go with the wallpaper so. Oh, I went really blue. That kind of looks bad. Oh, well. Whatever. I really hope I change it. I probably don't, though. And I probably use blue curtains, too. Oh, no. I use tan. This is really matchy-matchy, and I'm really not a fan, but whatever. Whatever. It's okay. So, um, one thing that I'm thinking of doing for the Le for the Dynasty Let's Play is, like, doing a, um, like, doing machinimas, but, like, I, so I want to, like, do voiceovers and, like, of The Sims, but, like, I'd have to use my own voice. Although, I mean, like, if, if any, like, so one, what thing that Hatsy Sims does is, like, she reaches, well, she has a, a real following on, on YouTube, so she has the liberty to do this, but she reaches out to people, who, like, if you want to, like, record voiceover and she can put it in her videos, but, like, I'm probably just gonna have to use my own voice and different voices, but, like, I'm pretty good at, like, doing different voices, I would say. I feel like other people would be like, um, this is obviously you, so you can just stop. Um, oh yeah, I don't know. Um, wait, why did I put that there? I'm looking at the stereo that I put on the table in that room because, like, I feel like that's not appropriate for the time period. But oh well, whatever. Um, so this I put in a dining room table. Um, I'm trying to look for a table that doesn't look, because I pulled up that other one, but it looked kind of, like, cheap. Like, not cheap, but, like, weathered and kind of, like, like, I feel like you wouldn't have this. This really reminded me of, like, a farmhouse dining table. I think I move it over a little bit because it seems to be really off-kilter. Um, this is the kitchen. It's just a really basic kitchen. Nothing, nothing too spectacular. It has the same, like, older, like, kitchen. Oh, this took me forever. I could not figure out how to, how to get it to do what I wanted to. Ugh. 
it just looks so bad, but whatever. Um, yeah, no, the, the island counters things, I just, are, they confuse me so much. Like, I know that there's a way to seamlessly do, like, go from, like, a, like, a, what, what's the word I'm looking, from, like, a, a bar to, like, the regular counters, but, like, I just haven't figured it out yet. So I just, um, I just use the move objects and I push them together. Really great Lauren. Or I just put a freaking refrigerator there so that I don't have to deal with it. Um, I think that's where the fridge is. This is where the oven is. Oh no, no. Why didn't I put it in front of the, um, the window? That makes more sense because like, um, yeah, I, I use that range hood. Um, can you imagine if you actually had to use that type of stove with like the wood logs underneath it? Like, is, do you light those? Cause that seems like a real fire hazard or no. Or do you put them inside the, the door thing? I thought that was at first, like, for, like, cooking cakes and stuff. But apparently, no, that is probably that... I'm sorry if you guys hear my chair squeaking. Um, no, that's probably where you put the burning the burning coals or burning logs or whatever. So it's like, oh, it's a, it's a wood-burning stove. So it's probably... You don't put coal in there. Um, it's like, I want to I wanna say that, like, it's late, so I'm a little loopy. But, like, it's really not late. It's 9.13 that I'm, when I'm recording this. So, like, I have no excuse. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess we're just done with the kitchen. It was really basic, though I didn't really put much effort into it. We're just moving on to the bedroom. As I said before, there's one bedroom. Nothing really that fancy. Um, oh, why don't I... So, I was watching a speed build from Hatsy the other day, at Hatsy Sims. And, uh, go subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. Um, and there's this bed in The Sims 4 that I... Just, I was like, she she put it down in one of her beds, and in one of her rooms, and I was like, wow, that bed's so awesome, did it come with an expansion pack or something? And then I look at it, and it came with a freaking base game. And I'm like, what the fuck? Or, mm, I'm sorry, I keep saying bad words. I really need to catch myself. It's late, but it's not late, and I'm just using that excuse. Um, but yeah, I was like, I was like, wow, that, that's like really awesome, why don't I use it more often? Sometimes, like, there are items in The Sims 4 that, like, I just never use. I think for my next build, because, like, this build was very traditional, and so was the build before then, like, the Von Trapp estate. I think I'm going to do, like, a more contemporary build. Um, obviously, the university, I already said I want to do it very, like, old, very, like, Ivy League, big, um, like, Ivy-covered buildings, very traditional, typical, like, um, like, American, um, style, like, university buildings. So, um, yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, so right now we're, we're, sorry, I'm just looking at my phone. I'm so distracted. This is so bad. I feel bad. Um, but right now we're working on the bathroom. This is, I think, the last thing that we do in this part of the build. Coming up with the screenshots. Again, if screenshots are your thing, I'm so sorry that I didn't, I'm, I'm, like, really bad at taking them. I've tried to, like, toggle between, like, The Sims 4 and The Sims 3 camera because, like, I was better at The Sims 3 camera, but for some reason it's just, I feel like it's the same. Like, nothing changes when you click The Sims 3 camera versus The Sims 4 camera, so I'm like, what is changing here? And, like, of course, like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I play on a Mac, and, like, I'm pretty sure The Sims 4 was most most computer games are built for PCs and like but I just I don't know I, I don't have the patience for PCs I'm like I'm a noob to be honest um like I can't like really do anything with computers like I can't code one of my good friends Ava she can code like she's so awesome uh yeah but um so these are the screenshots um this is the upstairs foyer I think we move into one of the one of the bedrooms um, so thank you guys so much for clicking on my video or clicking on part three. Um, uh, I really appreciate it so much. Please like and subscribe or comment if you liked this video. Um, I will be out with a, with probably a Let's Play very soon and a Let's Build. Uh, again, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And, um, yeah. Uh, oh my god, this is such an awkward outro. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please like and subscribe if you liked it. And um, remember to stay evil. Thanks, guys. Bye.